All right, so in this video, we're gonna be making like a grungy, wet looking material. So to start off, I've already got a sphere and a cube that I've beveled the edges on so it's a bit smoother. And the first thing we're gonna do is go up to Edit and Preferences. And we're gonna go into the Add-ons tab and then we're gonna search for Node. And then make sure you've got this Node Wrangler enabled because this is gonna allow you to use shortcuts when you're in the um, Shading tab. So now that we've got that set up, we can just go into the render properties, just turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. All right, so now you're going to need to tab into edit mode for each of your objects. You're going to need to make sure you've got all the faces selected, and then right click, UV unwrap faces, and just choose unwrap. And then go into the next object, unwrap, and the same with any other objects that you want to apply this material to. And then we're done there. So I've already got a texture applied to all these, but it's just a plain, like a really dark grey texture, and I've applied the exact same one to each of these. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the overlays for now so we can see exactly what's going on. Right, I'm going to go into the shading tab, and we can see we've just got the plain uh, material here with just the black one. So I'm going to go and add a colour ramp here and then I'm going to search and add noise texture. The factor is going to get plugged into the factor here and the colour is going to get plugged into the roughness. And then I'm going to click noise texture and on the keyboard I'm going to press Ctrl and T. And then on this bit I can plug the UV into the vector. Okay, and now if we adjust the colour ramp here, we can tighten up the blend and then in the noise texture we can turn the detail right up and we can turn the roughness right up. And then we can see we're getting a more grungy look here. You can play with the scale. and the position of the gradient to get the look that you want depending on how wet you want it or how grungy and then to give it a bit more depth we're going to add a bump node which is going to sort of simulate bumps in the surface so we're going to click add and search for bump and then all we need to do is plug the colour from the ramp into the height and the normal into the normal. Give that a second to load. Okay, and now all we need to do is tone down this bump because it's a little bit too extreme at the moment. So I'm just gonna go on the strength. I'm gonna type 0.2. And I think that's a lot better. And now we can see that the light is reflecting off these bumps. And of course we can change the colors I think that's quite a nice cinematic look there. And you can adjust your ambient occlusion, make it a bit darker. And um, of course you can play with the different lights as well. I've added in like a blue light here, and um, this one. Yeah, just to give it that bit of a highlight there. And if you selected on any of the objects that have got the material on, you can go down and you can change the settings here without having to go into the settings. Um, for the shading up the top. So if I open up the roughness, I've got access to the color ramp here. And underneath I've got the noise here. So that's it for this video. I've got plenty more tutorials coming, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks a lot for watching.